So here it is, the Western Terminus Ice Age Trail. You have to hop, hike point one in. Magpie hiked on in with me. Yep. Um, yeah. So. Point one in my Birkenstocks. Point one. She's crushing miles already. I know, man. Even Big day today. Even before the AT. Officially a Nero. Officially a Nero. Yeah. You can do as many road miles as as you want now. And um, yeah, as you saw, Western Terminus. I'll get it for you one more time because I'm gonna be following this for a while. And we'll see how many miles I get in today. I don't know, 10 to 15, but yeah, I say it's trail, Wisconsin. Here we come. Let's do it. And this is the trail. Say goodbye. Oh yeah, say goodbye to Magpie in the videos for a little bit. We might do the GDT, so. We'll see about that. We'll see about that, she said. So she might be back. <laughs> and um, yeah, thank you for the road trip, You're the van life. We start walking. All right, peace. That's it. All right, here's a little overview of what it is. This is back at the parking lot. Just did point one. Well, technically point two now. Ooh, just did point two. I'm gonna call it a day. And yeah, this is what um, Constantine's getting himself into. Through hike of Wisconsin. I'm complaining, but who knows? It might end up being awesome. Maybe. What were you doing in that video, Magpie? Nothing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do one more check of the van. Make sure I got everything. Um, and this is what, yeah, got us, got me out here. Big Blue, she calls her. And she got, what, 1,800 miles out to here? Yeah. 1,800 mile road trip. One of the days didn't count because it broke down within the first hour. Um, second day, got a later start. Had a full day yesterday and- Full day today. Full, yeah, full day today. Starting the trail a little bit after four. But yeah, this is what got us out here. And sweet, it's gonna get her out another thousand, thousand miles, all the way to Maine. All right, one more check. And um, heavy pack, a lot of food in there. So, all right, my first yellow blaze, which means I am on the Ice Age Trail. Um, just left the parking lot. As you can see, the Magpie van is still there. She's getting situated for the rest of her journey. And um, yeah, let's do it. Might have to start filming with the phone later today. I think I'm gonna try to do 14 miles-ish. But um, yeah, oh, I might actually get her driving off. Give me a second. Just gonna chew through the battery, but she's on her journey. Going on mine, we're rocking out some trails. Oh, the car started. Hmm. <laughs> All right, might not get get her filming pulling out, but oh, there we go. That van is going to the AT, folks. That van is going to the AT, about to sub 90. Hmm. Thought, I thought I had a rough gig road walking a lot of these miles. Ooh, but the AT sub, sub 90 and that's even better. <laughs> 20 point turn. And sh oh, <laughs> uh -oh. And she is off, folks. She is going on to the AT. <laughs> So I guess they have a shelter, like half a mile, 
into the hike. I don't know if you can sleep in here, but pretty cool, pretty cool. Whew, I'm already sweating. Not a good sign. <laughs> Just gotta get used to hiking again. Had almost a full week off, if not a full week off. So, gonna get acclimated a little bit and start cruising. Let's do it. So the trail pops out at the Ice Age Interpretive Center at Interstate Park. Oh, a little free library. <clears throat> Very cool. And um, I think it continues right over here. I think it pops me out on a road soon-ish, but if I can avoid it for a while, I will avoid it with these little trail systems. Skyline Trail, 1.6 miles. Sweet. Sorry about the glare. There you go. All right. Let's do it. Let us go. Hmm. Already getting lost, huh? And there's literally Ice Age trail symbols right outside of it. Oh, I'm filming right now. <clears throat> I forgot that out east, there were such things as mosquitoes after August. I'm gonna get into Centuria tonight. Um, there's a primitive camp spot in town and hopefully I'll be able to get in early enough that they have either a corner store or something that I can buy bug spray at because, yeah, I forgot. I forgot, but um, I already got lost once on the Ace Age. And now I'm just walking, walking this, very flat. All right, sorry, I can't stop for too long because the mosquitoes are ridiculous. I don't know if you can see them behind my head, but oh my God, they are ridiculous. Whew, I've been moving at least at a three and a half or um, sometimes a four mile per hour pace just to get out of them. I really hope Centura has a corner store with um, bug spray. Would be awesome. Would be really, really appreciated. Whew. All right, so I literally pulled off trail. If you walk down 4th Street, um, 
once you get close to Centura, you walk down it for less than half a mile. You'll run into uh, the mobile gas station down there. And I literally ran into there and bought a $10 thing of bug spray just because they're so bad. Like, if they were gonna be that bad the entire time, there was no way I was gonna be hiking through that. Um, well worth the money. Like, when I say they were bad, they were bad. And the corner store lady was even talking about that a little bit. They were rough. So, well worth the money. I also got a cookie, as you can see. So, gonna go back to the trail see where we can get all right all right this is a little rest area in town as you can see it has a little free library right there inside vending machines water fountains whatnot and um the camping symbol is like point one around here but I don't feel like I'm not getting the vibe that the town wants us to camp around here um, I've been passed by the sheriff twice um, it looks big and grassy. It just might be me thinking, overthinking it, but I'm going to push on a little bit, um, try to find something along this trail system because like I said, once again, I don't know if they want us to, and it's just really, really close to town. So I'm going to push a little on. It's 730. Um, there's grass areas around here that I could camp. So, we'll find something. Maybe I can outwalk these mosquitoes as well. But, cool little town, like I said. You walk down forth, um, down to the highway or interstate, there's a little gas station you can... I got away with resupplying. I mean, I'm gonna be doing Besides today, 30 plus miles a day. So I'm assuming within those miles, I'll run by a gas station or two. And um, yeah, just uh, I'm gonna keep walking until this might be the grassy area they were talking about. But once again, we'll see. Hopefully there's a designated camping symbol or something. All right, there we go. Huh. I didn't even hear you turn on. That's weird, I might have to check that out. So this is where I camped last night, right over there, towns, right there you can see. It's about .1 from town. Um, pretty much as soon as I cut off my last video, I found this. Um, good amount of condensation. I'm gonna have to dry my stuff out sometime today. But um, yeah, first official, official day on the Ice Age Trail. And it's time to just do 40 days worth of 30s, averaging 30s. Um, each day, probably try to get above the 30 mark. So when I take a Nero or a Zero in Wisconsin, the average will still stay up there. Um, sounds difficult. It's probably gonna just be tough more mentally than physically. These, this trail looks pretty easy, but um. It's I think it's definitely going to be the mental part more. But if we were doing low 30s, high 20s on the PNT when we were out hiking, this should be uh, physically easy. Once again, the mentalness, that's pretty much uh, what these trails are about. It's the mental strength. So we'll get there. We'll get there. Definitely miss the trail fam. Um, shout out to Magpie and Cy. Um, I know Cy's about to start the Colorado Trail today. And then I know Magpie, she's still driving. She's gonna get to Maine today. I don't know if she's gonna start the AT today, but she'll get to Maine today. Miss y'all. Um, wish you guys the best of adventures. And yeah, we'll get up with each other again. We will find each other again. I know, Cy, we're gonna hike. Huh. Wow, I hope this is still the Ice Age Trail. Usually it has a better marker than that. I know, Cy, we're gonna hike the Arizona Trail together, but 
Magpie. We'll do the GDT or something. All right. Once again, yeah, definitely miss y'all. Um, Wisconsin's born without you. All right. Just got to get into the new trail system. Peace. Been on this for a while. Gonna be on it for a while longer. Oh, I gotta keep remembering this uh, sound doesn't work anymore when it turns on. Usually there's a beep, beep, beep that uh, reminds me it's on. But um, this is mile 19.9. Well, right off trail, mile 19.9. Um, this is Milltown Park. And I had to stop in, do a little, little morning business and little detour the bathrooms are actually over there across the field but they're locked as well as there's supposed to be water somewhere around here oh little free library but there's supposed to be water somewhere around here <laughs> and um i don't know exactly where it would be but there was a comment that says it's off so the town of Luck is only four miles away, so no worries there. Gonna probably just grab water once I get there. It looks like the trail legitimately goes through that town. If you wanted to get into the town of Milton, you would have to go off trail-ish. Wouldn't be far, but you would have to go off trail. But cool little park, um, trails right in here. I guess I'll be able to walk and talk and bring you back there. Um, I could see that you could camp here. There's no signs that say no camping. So say you wanted to do 20 miles your first day. This is like mile, like I said, 19.9. So you probably could get to here. Also, I don't know for sure. So camp at your own risk if you want to. Um, but yeah, about to pop back onto trail here very shortly. Um, we've been rocking the Grady something trail for a while next sign post that has it on it i'll grab it for you but yeah here here she is again all right back on the grady trail um four miles to the town of luck where i'm gonna grab up some water and kind of look ahead for the resupply because it looks like i might get into a 40-ish mile section without food got enough food in my pack to get away with it but take a little closer look so we go little shelter at mile 20.2 right on the outskirts of milton um don't know if you're allowed to camp there, but you might be. Just giving you info in case. All right, let's continue this flat walking. So, gonna hit the town of Luck in one mile. Um, I think it's like 20 minutes before 10 o'clock so i'll be able to get my 10 in before 10 today and um the candy dancer huh sorry i got distracted that's probably in the town of luck so I'm gonna be on this grady trail system for another five-ish miles and then it looks like it splits um and then there's a little connector piece which is like half a mile road walking to another trail system i believe but um been doing this yeah all of this morning um not terribly bad so pretty easy walking all right let's get to the town of luck first um ice age trail marker in a while but I'm about to follow that sign for food. The trail continues this way, 
but if you look this way if you come down this road there's wayne's food and grocery i'm pretty sure i could see it from the trailhead um you're gonna be able to see it in a second if you see the cars parked out out front right there it's that building it's like 0.1.2 from the trail so i'm gonna pop in there might actually do somewhat of a resupply because it looks like for i don't know 50 60 miles i might not run across the gas station again even though i feel like i am going to play it a little safe so you can see the building now that's how far it is off trail as long as it took me to talk to get there i'm gonna pop in grab a little food keep rolling all right So, yep, that was Wayne's food. Good pit stop. Um, I got enough food now to make me... I can get away with two days um, without a gas station, which, like I said, it might be there, but playing it on the safe side. So pack's definitely heavier. Finally switched out my filter bottle. Been waiting to do that for a while. Um, they have hot food in there, so that was good. And yeah, good little spot right off trail. Pop in grab some grub all right let's go All right, mile 28.6. This is where the Ice Age Trail diverges from the Gandhi Dancer Trail, which I've been walking for a while. And um, it diverges right here. And it connects by just running on this hill for a little bit. And then you can actually see the street sign in the distance. <clears throat> Give me one minute that it connects to and you take a right at this street sign and I think it puts us on another trail system shortly we will see oh look at this nice little fancy uh, post system actually give me one second Gotta say, this trail is super well marked. Um, beginning got a little confusing. First couple miles, these, just the sheer amount of foot paths. But besides that. Sweet, to the right. Huh. There's a car here. Hmm. Wonder what that is. Um, I don't know, might run into him here shortly. Oh, shout out to uh, Magpie and her grandma. I think these are the Black Eyed Susans that uh, she was talking about. Ooh, it's green now. All right, let's go. You saw it there, follow the yellow blazes.
first down tree of the Ice Age Trail. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna have to navigate it. So, um, mile 30.1, as you can see, I was on actually trail for a little bit. Um, then you pop out here, and this is my first drying out party of the Ice Age, because yesterday, um, where I camped, it wasn't wet, but there was a lot, a lot of condensation. So, my sleeping bag got soaked. Sorry, I stopped for that car tent got drenched as you can see um my clothes didn't get too bad that got a little wet um but yeah first trying drying out party of the ice age show now 30.1 um so i've done about 16 miles today it's about 12 20 so if i get another 16 in ish i'll be happy hmm. you know break here for 30 40 minutes so head out around one Get some miles in. Oh, can't hear it. So, um, ran into some actually ice agers. Um, second day on trail, and it's the hiking family. <laughs> Hi. What's uh, what's your all story? Uh, we're called the Magic Woolies. We've got myself and my wife and our two young daughters who have turned five and seven on the trail so far. We're through mm -hmm. hiking. They will probably be, at least as far as we know, they'll be the youngest kids to through hike the entire Ice Age Trail on their own feet. So we're, it sounds like after meeting him that we're mm -hmm. about a day and a half away from finishing. We've been yep. on the trail since late March and uh, yeah. it blows my mind that we're almost done. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty awesome to have run into some other through hikers and congratulations to, to, your, to your daughters for being the youngest, um, that's really cool. And. Yeah, I saw their car at the other spot, and I remember filming the hiking family sign right there. Oh, okay. And I got a little film. I'm like, oh, I wonder if I'll run into some Ice Agers. And oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. I did. So, um, yeah, ran into them, uh, dried out all my stuff, and going to keep cruising. All right, peace. All right, so um, spent a little longer at that break spot than I wanted to, getting out around 120-ish. But... um. Like I uh, you saw in the previous video, met that super cool family. The family ended up rolling up right when I was heading out. Um, got a lot of good information from them. Um, one piece of information that's pretty critical for me, I don't know how much I'm gonna use it, but it's really, really good information. One second. that I was going to say is really really important for future Ice Age trailers whatnot until they designated a little bit better that family I double checked with them and they had gotten in contact with the IAT coalition and so a bunch of this trail system is connecting routes and on gut hook it has the official connecting routes um, bringing you in kind of loops sometimes and the IATC, I think it's the IATA actually, Ice Age Trail Association, they actually recognize a through hike. You don't have to 100% follow the um, gut hook route on the connecting routes. The trail system ones, you have to stay on trail system. But on the connecting routes, you can actually create your own connecting route regardless of what it is, as long as one, you connect your footsteps and two, you get to the next trail segment. So that piece of information 
I don't, like I said, I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but it could become pretty, pretty good for some of these upcoming sections. We'll see how it turns out. But once again, hiking fam, um, congrats, congratulations on your guys through hike and enjoy the last today and tomorrow pretty much. And you guys will be done. Cool. Cool. I'm just starting. So, um, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Seems like cruising miles. Let's do it. This little bench and I'm assuming this is trap rock mile 31.5 huge basalt rock guy book was saying hmm cool cool I don't know if it's just coming off the PNT or what but this trail is super well marked Really, really well marked. Um, hmm. Follow the yellow blazes. Let's do it. Oh, come on, how do I open this? Oh, oh God. Whew. Sorry I'm not stopping to film more, but these mosquitoes are terrible. Oh my God. Making me put a pace down. Whew.
This would be a pretty sick camp spot down that blue blaze right next to the lake. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, it's mile 38 and some change. Um, mm, 38 and a half maybe? I think that makes sense. But too soon for me to stop. Like I said, we're on a time frame for this trail. So I gotta keep cruising. Thank you IATA and volunteers. That section could have been a lot more swacky. Huh. I guess we're on the road for a little bit. So do not go where I just showed you on that last video. You'll see an Ice Age uh, National Scenic Trail marker behind me on this road. But don't go there, super overgrown. Definitely not the right way. So cross the bridge on the road and um, Seems like when I start filming, like 20 cars come by. But cross the bridge on the road and you will see a white blaze with an actual trail system, I think. Because that other way, not good. Here it is. Yeah, that last system was super overgrown. God. Definitely shady, definitely shady. Um, really overgrown after mile 40.9, you cross into the Pine River segment, I think it said. And um, yeah, this is, this is not overgrown to compare what, compared to what it was. But you can see the trail laying those trees. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to get five more miles-ish in hit Mackenzie Creek, and then find somewhere to camp after that. Cool, cool.
All right, so about two miles to Mackenzie Creek. Um, and I'm gonna fill up water there and then just walk till I find a flat spot. So that is the plan. Um, I'm gonna take a quick break here. It's still early. I'm gonna get into camp early too, but um, still have a good day plugged in. So I'm not too worried about it. Let the body start catching back up to the miles. Even with a week off, your body kind of loses. I w doesn't lose a lot, but it has to get used to the miles again. All right, quick break. So Mackenzie Lake's down that way, um, but the trail continues this way. You can take a little detour if you want, but mosquitoes are coming out. So I'm gonna run to this water source, grab some agua and keep running. All right, this is Mackenzie Creek. Now I just gotta figure out how to get down there without getting wet and get water. All right, sorry, quick video, but the bugs are out. All right. Whew. All right, so I ended up saying, screw it. Um, after Mackenzie Creek, I knew there was this um, road in about, I think it was close to three miles. And I got there, I'm like, you know what? I'll push. And it is 8.01 right now. I got here before eight because as you can see, I set up everything. So got here before eight when I wanted to. And um, yeah, that gives me, let's see, 49.2. That gives me right underneath the 35 for um, first official day on the ice age. That's not bad. I think it's a 34.8 if I'm being exact. And um, as you can see, I'm in the parking lot. There's the sign right there. Um, I feel safe, had a sheriff pass by, so I don't think I'm gonna be bothered on this road. I've camped in worst, but um, just chucked everything. As you can see in the tent, I have no setup. I'm not sitting on a pad or anything right now because the mosquitoes are brutal. Oh my God, I had to run. I'm itching right now, I had to run in. But yeah, not a bad first day, full day on the Ice Age Trail. 34.8, I'll take it. All right, signing off, first day done.